All right, let's talk about something big that's coming in the chip world, and yeah, this one is actually exciting. We're very close to the end of the 3N era. Like, this might be the last year we ever see flagship phones running on 3N chips. After that, everyone moves on. Apple, Qualcomm, MediaTek, all of them. And they are all heading to 2N. Now here's where things get interesting. There's a leaker on Weibo called Smart Chip Insider, and according to them, Apple, Qualcomm, and MediaTek could all reveal their very first 2N chips in the same month. Not spread out, not one after another, the same month, possibly September. That almost never happens. Usually, Apple goes first. Apple shows up, drops a new chip, gets all the attention, and then Android chip makers follow later. But this time, that advantage might be gone. First, let's break down what's happening with TSMC. TSMC is the company making these chips. They're basically the backbone of the entire smartphone industry. If you want the best chips, you go to TSMC. And right now, they've already started mass production of their 2N process. Not only that, they're building three more factories just to handle demand. That should tell you how serious this jump is. Now, Apple, being Apple, they reportedly grabbed more than half of the early 2N production capacity. That sounds scary for Qualcomm and MediaTek, right? Like Apple's going to block everyone else? Well, not exactly. According to this rumor, the production cycle for 2N chips is longer than 3N. That means chips need to be finalized earlier, designs need to be locked in earlier, testing happens earlier, and because of that, all three companies could finish their chips around the same time. That's the key reason they could all launch together. Now let's talk about the actual chips. Apple is expected to launch the A20 and A20 Pro. These will power the iPhone 18 series, and yes, possibly the iPhone Fold too. That's wild by itself. Qualcomm is going all in. They're not doing one chip, they're doing two. Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6 and Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6 Pro. Same generation, but split into regular and pro. Very Apple-like move, honestly. MediaTek is keeping it simple. One chip, Dimensity 9600. No pro version, at least for now. They're still deciding if they want to do the dual chip strategy later. Now here's a detail that chip nerds have been arguing about. Qualcomm and MediaTek were rumored to use a better version of TSMC's 2N process called N2P, while Apple would use the basic N2. The idea was that Android chips might get an edge, but according to this leaker, nope. All three are using the same process. No shortcuts, no special versions, same tech, same node. That means no one gets an easy win. Everything will come down to design, tuning, and optimization. How well the chip balances speed and battery life, how good the thermal control is, how efficient it is when you're just scrolling or watching videos. Now let's talk about timing. The rumor says all these chips could be unveiled in September. That's crazy. Apple usually shows chips with iPhones, Qualcomm shows chips at their own events, MediaTek does their own thing, but this time they might all land in the same window. That means Android flagships and iPhones could launch around the same time, powered by chips from the same generation on the same node. No head start. No Apple is one year ahead talk. Everyone starts at the same line. MediaTek actually has a small advantage here. They already announced that their first 2N chips successfully taped out earlier this year. That's a big milestone. It means their design is done and working. Their chip is expected to launch in 2026, but clearly they're ahead in preparation. Apple, on the other hand, will still be Apple. Very controlled launches, very tight schedule. The iPhone 18 lineup will likely go up for pre-orders a week after announcement, just like always. But even Apple won't have a huge timing advantage this time. If this rumor is true, all three companies will show their tech at the same time. That means reviewers, fans, and buyers will directly compare them. Same month, same node, same generation. That's rare. And because of that, optimization becomes everything. Raw power alone won't cut it. If your chip drains battery, overheats, or throttles, people will notice immediately, especially when competitors are right there. 
This also means Android phones powered by Snapdragon and Dimensity chips could launch around the same time as iPhones, not months later. Competition gets tighter, pressure gets higher. And honestly, that's great for us. Because when these companies are under pressure, they push harder. Better efficiency, better performance, better battery life. So yeah, if September really becomes the month of 2N, this could be one of the most competitive chip launches we've ever seen. No clear winner at the start. No easy bragging rights. Just pure execution. And that's exactly the kind of tech battle we want to watch.